Yo guys, what's going on? Today, I wanna talk about ping, lag, and high latency in CSGO. Now, I've made a couple of videos about how you could potentially remove all lag from CSGO, how to solve high ping, how to get lower latency in game. I've made videos talking about all these things before. But in each one of those videos, after I made them, or from one of you guys pointing it out in the comments section, there was always something that was a little bit wrong or something that I just entirely forgot in the video to mention. With that said though, today I'm going to try to help you guys solve any lag issues, any high ping issues, and some latency issues you might be experiencing in CSGO and hopefully give you guys a few tips and pointers about how you can reduce it or possibly even remove the entire problem. Before we get right into that though, I will quickly mention a very small amount of you guys who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if this video does help you out, definitely make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button. We're getting super close to 20k subs and I'd love to see it happen here really soon. With that said though, let's get right into the video. Real quick, I'd like to give a quick thanks to today's video sponsor, DMarket. DMarket is an all-in-one site for buying, selling, and even trading your CSGO, TF2, Dota 2, and Rust skins. DMarket is a trusted marketplace with great prices, low commissions on sales, face-to-face -face trading, lots of payment options for withdrawals, and has many active buyers and sellers. To start, simply click my link in the video description, sign in through Steam, and then input your Steam trade link. To deposit funds to your account, just click deposit, and then choose one of the various payment methods. Click to highlight all of the items that you want to buy, sell, or trade, and choose your action button at the bottom of the page below. It's as simple as that. Get started with DMarket now. Link in the description below. All right, I'm going to try my best not to make this video super long so you guys can watch it all the way through and hear everything I have to say. But if it does become longer than what I think it's going to be, I'm going to leave timestamps down below in the description. They should also show up for you guys on screen. So definitely use those if you're looking for one specific thing. Starting off with the most basic thing though, how do you see your ping? If you think you might be having problems with high ping, how do you even see it in the first place? I'm assuming all of you guys know, but I'm going to show you just in case. If you're in the middle of a CSGO game, simply just hit tab and it'll show up on the left hand side of your score. Board. Another way you can see your ping along with a lot of other really helpful things is by enabling your net graph. If you guys don't know how to do that, simply just open up your console here and just type in net underscore graph one. Hit enter to execute that and you guys will see this little text box pop up in the bottom of your screen. Now with the most recent CSGO update, it should look something like mine does right now, but once you get into a game, it'll expand so you can see more of it. Now if you don't need to know your ping or you already know your problem might be coming from your internet service, we're going to start with some of the basic things here that could help solve your ping and lag right away. First, what I'm going to have you guys do is restart your modem and your router. Whether you're using wired internet or you're just running off of your Wi-Fi, sometimes just simply restarting your modem and your router will solve all of your issues. Also, try restarting your CSGO and even your computer. Sometimes this will help solve the issue as well, and you can definitely do both these things at the same time. Now, if the same problems are still happening, you guys can also verify your game files as well. Sometimes this will help, but not always. It's something that I like to tell people to do just to be safe, because sometimes verify your game files does solve all of your problems. If you guys don't know how to do this, simply just come into Steam here, right click on Counter Strike, and go down to Properties and click on it. It's going to open up this window, and if you come over here to Local Files, you're going to see a button that says Verify Integrity of Game Files. Go ahead and click on this and let it do its thing. The last thing I'll tell you guys to do here, just kind of under the simple basic steps, is just completely reinstall the game. Part of the game might be completely corrupt, and while the files are there, the Verify Integrity files isn't technically going to fix all of that, so reinstalling could. Definitely try that before moving on in the video. If you've done all those things and you're still experiencing some issues, then try doing this next. Make sure all of your internet components and drivers in your computer are updated. Specifically, the drivers is what we're going to be looking at here. If you guys go into the desktop of your computer, come down here to the search bar and type in device. It'll pretty much be the first thing that pops up. And what we're looking for here is device manager. When you click on that, it's going to open up this window here. And from here, you can see, and from here, you can see all of the components in your computer. This is also where you can update the drivers for every thing in your computer. So if you know you might possibly need to update a driver, or if you just haven't done it in a really long time, you're going to be able to do that here. Ideally, where your internet components and drivers are going to be is under the network adapters tab here. Now, everything here is going to look a little bit different for every person, unless you have the exact same PC build as me. But if you have a wireless card and you're running off a of Wi-Fi, you're going to want to look for something like this. If you're using an ethernet connection like I currently am right now, then you're going to want to look for something like this. Once you select it either between your wireless card or your ethernet adapter, you're going to come up here 
to this little green arrow and check for updates. If all of your drivers have been updated, then it probably will not let you update it, so you don't have to worry about that. I will quickly mention as well, if your computer is really old or you're running a computer with some really old components in it, especially if any of them are older than CSGO itself, so basically older than 2012, most likely those components right there are causing your problems, especially for high ping and internet lag in game. If you are, unfortunately, the only thing you can do there is upgrade the components or upgrade your entire computer. There really isn't anything else you can do to get around that, but I just wanted to go ahead here and throw it into the video for you guys who might be running computers or components like this. When I say upgrade though, do keep in mind guys, I'm not only talking about your provider or your modem or your router, the components that can be expensive to upgrade. I'm also talking about things as simple as a Wi-Fi antenna on your computer or maybe an ethernet cable. Sometimes a damaged old ethernet cable can make your connection really unstable and cause some high ping and high latency issues. And even the same thing goes for old cheap Wi-Fi antennas. Whether you're running on Wi-Fi or on ethernet, definitely check both those things because that could be your problem right there. Now, moving on to the next thing here, this is gonna be kind of like a diagnostic that I like to do. I'm gonna have the link to this website down in the description below, but basically what you're gonna wanna do is come here to the speed test website, make sure your server here is set to the one that's closest to you or the closest server they offer to you, and then go ahead and click go. What this is gonna do is it's basically gonna test your download and your upload speed along with your ping to that said server. Now, disregard the ping here because in the past, I told a lot of people to look at that ping because it should be their ping in game and I'm completely wrong when I say that so definitely disregard that what we're looking here is to make sure you have a download speed and an upload speed that are good I would recommend having a download speed between 50 to 100 megabits per second and an upload speed between 5 to 10 if you're in that range or above then your internet is definitely not the problem here again like I said we were just doing this speed test here to see if internet could be your problem sometimes it is strictly your internet and you need to go and worry about your internet components now if you do happen to have a really slow download and upload speed this unfortunately is going to be a problem that again is going to need to be upgraded by your service provider or that you're going to have to contact your service provider for help. There really isn't anything here that we can do for you guys on YouTube to help solve this issue. If it really comes down to it, having bad internet, it can only be made better by upgrading. And unfortunately, that just has to be taken care of with a service provider. So again, that's why I can't really do anything about it right now. If your internet's all good though, and you're still experiencing a lot of lag or high ping in game, it could be because a lot of other programs that might be running in the background of your computer are taking it all. If you're not sure exactly what's running on your computer and what's taking bandwidth, there's a couple of different ways you can see. If you know you have a program on your computer that's either really power intensive or takes a lot of bandwidth, then you can simply just come over here to this little arrow tab to show your hidden programs and exit out of that said program. For example, I know IQ is one of these softwares, so if I wanted to help save some internet data, I would just simply just right click on this and then hit quit. If you're not sure about background programs that are running on your computer or you don't know how much data they're taking up, then here's what you should use to be able to figure that out. Again, come over here to the little search bar on your home screen and type in task manager it should come up here after typing in task and once you go ahead and click on that it's going to open up this window now this is going to show you everything that's running on your computer here and of course if something's taking up too much cpu for your liking or too much network for your liking go ahead and close it out now but if you want to see a bit more detailed information about the exact amount of your network it's taking up come over here to the performance tab and then click open resource monitor it's going to open up this window and while this looks really really complicated it basically is a more detailed version of what task manager is showing you what we want to do here though is come over here to where it says network and if this isn't drop down already select the arrow over here to drop down this entire thing this is going to show you exactly which services are using up a lot of bandwidth on your computer again as i just mentioned iq i already know takes up a lot of bandwidth in the background of my computer and right here you guys can see it's not it was number one. <laughs> it is pretty much number one on this list, sending and receiving a huge amount of data. And to be honest, I'm really not even sure why, but this very well could affect my in-game ping or even be something that causes lag in my game. And by simply just exiting out of this, I can solve that problem. I will also mention as well, antivirus softwares any of the antivirus softwares that you put onto your computer whether it's kaspersky or something like that they can take not only a big amount of processing power on your computer but also a decent amount of your bandwidth trying to scan every single file on your computer now this isn't really going to have that big of an effect on ping or latency in your game but it definitely could cause some frame drops or some stuttering in game and if you're someone who likes their game to be as smooth as possible and you do have some of these programs on your computer then i would definitely recommend turning them off temporarily while you're playing the game the next 
next thing that I want to talk about now is your max acceptable matchmaking ping. If you guys don't know, this is actually a setting in CSGO you can set, and by default, it stays really high, which is pretty much the cause of a lot of people's problems right off the bat. If you guys come into CSGO, go over to your settings tab, and then under game, you're going to see this max acceptable matchmaking ping setting right here. And you guys can see mine set all the way down to 25. Basically, you want to pretty much do the exact same thing I've done here. Move that bar all the way down to the smallest number possible. With ping, the smaller number you can get, the better. That means your connection has as little latency as possible, and your computer and your internet service is communicating with the CSGO servers on an almost real-time basis. This is another one of those things that I've completely forgot to mention in some of my past videos, so make sure, out of everything that I tell you guys in this video, make sure you definitely do this. Again, turn your max acceptable matchmaking ping down to as low as it can go, and this is basically going to help you find the closest servers located to your location so you can get the best low latency connection as you can. Keep in mind it might cause your waiting times for matchmaking to go up a little bit, but if you don't want to deal with that lag in game, that high ping, that high latency, the wait is definitely worth it. So now if you've done all those things that I've talked about, at least tried all of the different topics here that I've mentioned throughout this video, and you're still experiencing some high ping, some really bad latency, or just lag in game, unfortunately there's not much else I'm gonna say here that's gonna fix it, but I can definitely help you guys understand understand exactly where some of this is coming from. Again, I made this video to help you guys out as much as I can, but it's most likely not going to 100% solve everybody's problems. Everyone's problems can be a little bit different, so don't expect your game to run 100% perfect after watching this, but hopefully it'll at least run like 90 to 95% good. In regards to CSGO though, sometimes you can just end up with a bad CSGO matchmaking server. Sometimes just from day to day, they don't run as good as they normally run. I know personally I've gotten unlucky and ended up on a bad server here and there, and typically you'll notice it's a bad server if you're not the only one having problems. So if everyone on the server server is lagging or having high ping or something like that, it typically is a server related issue. This is just kind of something you have to deal with. It's not something you can really do anything about, but it's good to keep in mind just to know that that is out there and it can happen from time to time if you're suddenly experiencing lag or if you're suddenly having a game where everything seems like it's horrible. And going back to the topic of talking about your internet and your internet service, I will also just note here in this video that if you're in an area that's densely populated and a bunch of people use the same network provider, if everyone's using it all at once, this can cause the amount of bandwidth that goes around to maybe your entire neighborhood or your entire area to be very limited. And in times like this, you might experience some high ping, you might experience a lot of lag, not just in CSGO, but throughout all of the internet connected devices in your house. Now, unfortunately, when this does happen, you kind of just have to wait around, wait for everyone to be done using as much internet as they are currently using, or just continue waiting for your internet provider to actually upgrade the services around you. Sometimes it can be out of your control, just like it is with this kind of problem, or even just with bad CSGO servers. Again, it's another one of those things I wanted to mention here in this video, just for you guys to keep in mind, but it's definitely something that's very important to think about. Anyway, guys, with all that said, I hope this video is going to help some of you guys out. Again, this video shouldn't solve your problems 100%, but it should definitely help you guys improve your game enough so that it's at least playable. With all that said, though, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, then make sure you guys do smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. And if you do have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below or hit me up on Discord. My Discord server is linked down in the description as well. And again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.